welcome everyone. We are so happy to have you here. Thank you, Sarah, for joining us today. I'm so Uh, happy to do it. We want to talk whole novel. We are coming in with the beautiful season of spring, which only means my favorite season is around the corner, which is summer, which always means whole novel fun on campus. So if anyone has any questions that you want to get to us first, please feel happy to write in the chat box. However, I also do have a a, a few messages that came to us um, beforehand. So if anyone has any questions, please go ahead and write them in. And if not, I think I'll get started with the with the ones that I have. Let's do it. All right. So I, I have one of the questions that I received is besides some of the faculty members and the dates, what are the differences between the two sessions that are happening this year? The differences really depending on who comes. That um, that the different when you sign up for whole novel and you bring your book to whole novel. You're helping us create a unique experience during the week. So, you know, there are years where um, people really want to use every ounce of free time to write in their cabins. That's a wonderful kind of retreat. There are some years where people want to spend all their time at the fireside or hiking. We will accommodate what people need. We are ready to We are ready to help you take the next step, no matter how you want to do that. Um, In terms of the program, um, it really is the only difference is is are the faculty members who will come and some of them may ask, may give different kinds of lectures. We will um, come up with lecture topics once we get your manuscript. (laughs) It's also important to note that it's two different sessions with two different dates and uh, faculty. There's quite a few that interchanges. Um, Barb actually just sent us a question. She said, what is the criteria for being accepted into the whole novel program? Okay, my most important criteria is that you are ready to work, that you are open and excited and you have a novel and you want to take the next step. And- that's really the most important thing. Um, I don't expect that the novels that come to us are finished. Um, We are not here to do line edits and and, um, very small ideas. We're here about content, reimagination. So we want you to come with an open mind, with your own questions, with with being able to talk about what you love about your book and what you're grappling with. In fact, when you submit your novel, those are the two biggest questions that I will ask you to answer for your reader so that we can offer you the kind of feedback that will help you take the next step instead of us just trying to um, impose our will on your novel. That is not what we wanna do. Um, Just to sort of echo what Sarah said, I'm dropping into the chat, Barb, the two um, website links for session one and session two of Whole Novel. I think really the only criteria per se, apart from what Sarah mentioned, was that your novel should be about 80K words. Um, It should be not complete, complete, but it should be relatively. You should be. Um, So it doesn't have to be 80,000 words. It can be less (laughs) and it can be. People have come to the whole novel in the past. Some people have come with a skeleton of a novel and they don't know how to expand it. And some people have come with a novel that they don't know where it ends. Like they're not sure about the ending or some people have come with a novel and they, and it is, and, and it is, you know, they're not sure about the structure that your questions will help us provide the feedback you need but it can be shorter and, um, and, and it can be, and if there are places in your novel that you're not sure about, you can tell us. It can also be longer. So if you, it's a work in progress with more than 80K, that's okay. You just need to make sure you note that in your application, that it is a, a longer piece, but up to 80K, I think is what will be read um, from faculty. Um, does anyone else have a question? Um, If not, I can jump into the one that came in. Um, What are you looking for exactly in applications to the program? 
how do I give myself the best chance of getting in? Um, so one is enthusiasm. Um, that is for me, you know, enthusiasm about writing. Two is that you, you are, you're ready for that dialogue um, with an experienced writer. Um, that is, that's really, that's really important. Um, really, you, we all, all of us on the faculty read all kinds of novels. So there's no one kind of novel we're looking for. We're all interested in reading a variety of, of, of genres. Um, even a chapter book is fine if you have a shorter, like a novella, um, that is, that's acceptable for us as well. Um, we, different formats are fine. We have taken verse novels in the past. Um, we have people who are experienced in reading historical, sci-fi, horror, contemporary, everything, middle grade, YA. Um, I'm even writing an adult novel right now. Shh, don't tell Kent. Um, <laughs> he gets he gets mad at me. Um, so whatever you are bringing, we are all readers. One of the things that I've learned over the years um, of being read and reading other people is that it's not as important that your reader is writing what you're reading, what you're writing. What's important is that you are working together with trust with a reader with a reader who understands the craft and we will help you and give you exercises the the week the the time at whole novel is not just about the one-on-one -on -one feedback although that's really important and that's the foundation it's also about we're going to do lectures that will inspire you we're going to have a brain trust workshop where you can talk behind your reader's back about the feedback and how you're going to take the steps forward. Everyone on the faculty wants to talk to you. So even the faculty members who haven't read you will sit down with you at lunch and say, hey, let's brainstorm. Or what is the craft? What are the concepts that you're interested in? So that you are constantly in a state of swirling brain. Does that answer the question? <laughs> I want to echo what Sarah said, because um, I actually had the, the amazing fortune of being able to attend Whole Novel last year, and not as a student, but as someone that was sort of helping on the grounds. And it was so, it was my first experience being exposed to what Whole Novel is all about and the EOS of it. And it was just an incredible um program that that they that we set up and it, it's just it was amazing I mean from opening night where everyone got to do these like fun hand gestures and go all around so that we knew each other's names and it just really is a special time to not only unpack your story and get to it but also to connect and to be with like-minded people and to meet community and kind of be vulnerable with your writing, which is a hard thing. And I feel like whole novel really allows for that. So, I mean, and I think that the, all of us, the faculty, we're all active writers and we all have made ourselves vulnerable in our process. And because of that, we respect the, the risk and the bravery that it takes to hand your novel to somebody else and to go into dialogue with somebody about how to make the novel better. Um, so, and none of us feel like, well, we are the boss and you are the deliverer. Like we are all, um, we, we all know that the answers for your novel come from that discussion. So we're not gonna tell you what to do. We're going to give you suggestions that inspire, that help you make connections in your book that help you see things that maybe you didn't even know were fantastic. I'm a big believer in speaking from confidence first. So we're going to tell you all the wonderful things that your novel is doing for us as readers. And then from there, we'll move forward. Um, I also just have to say that the most important, one of the most wonderful benefits of coming to the whole novel workshop is that you have a community. 
So we start before the retreat begins with Zooms, where mm-hmm. we will introduce ourselves, where we will talk about different ideas, where we'll prepare you for the week so that even before, way before you get there, we have a running start on how to, um, on getting your brain swirling and helping you see the possibilities that your novel can have. And um, I love that you touched point on the Zoom session, Sarah, because that's something that I think a little bit of all of us as writers, we're a little intimidated and we're not necessarily wanting to talk to all these people. And it could be a little, you know, introverted a little bit, um, which is really awesome that we have these Zoom sessions um, beforehand, because that way you get to interact with your community before you even arrive on campus, which I think is so awesome and allows for these things to develop before you even step foot on campus. So my main job in the beginning is for you to feel safe. So everything that I'm going to do is to encourage you to feel open and to know that your novel is in great hands and that you're going to have a great experience. Um, I'm a big believer in the words that start with C and I. So community and confidence and courage are all part of the whole novel experience. And we will foster that from day one on the Zoom. You'll get to meet the faculty. You'll get to ask us questions. Um, you'll get to meet your other participants and begin to see, begin to form um, a collective, another good C word, um, among, um, among everyone who's there. It's really, you know, when, um, when Carolyn Komen um, first developed this program, um, her feeling was that as a, as a teacher, it was really hard to help writers without reading the whole piece. And that is, I I totally agree with her. I can make, I, I have more confidence about where the novel should go when I've read from beginning to end. And so, if, and, and the writer is more ready to make changes when we know where we're going from beginning to middle to end. And so this is a, it's a time where like we can really brainstorm in a way that you can't do when you don't have a whole novel to play with. Um, Barb actually has asked two questions. So thank you, Barb. Thanks, how, Barb. Many, how many people are selected for each session? 16. 16. And her next question is approximately how many people apply? And honestly, Barb, it, ha- it just depends per year. It depends. So yeah. I don't really have a number for you, but it just depends on the year. Um, uh, there's no bribery that, can, <laughs> you know, I mean, I, you know, like I would like to say, you know, payola would, you know, but no. Um, but if you're ready, let me know. You can always email me extra questions. We do our best to find to, um, even when we have more people, more applicants, we try to find the best fit for this ret- for our retreats so that everybody leaves with a plan and inspiration yes and energy and um, everything you need to get it done and a lifeline because we are all working on we're all here and so with your readers none of us as readers ever feel like well we're going to cut the cord we're there for our, we're there for you. And, um, and we want you to feel like you have a place to go as you're revising in the future. Exactly. I also dropped in the chat, the, uh, the direct link for the application, which is not a very big application. It's just a place where we ask, um, which session you want to join us with the first session or the second se- session, or if, if you are open to either, it is also where you upload your pages. Um, because as we didn't even mention yet, but our application is on May 20th. So it is um, 10 days away. It is fast approaching. So I did drop that in. And in that same application, we just want to lo- know a little bit about you and whether or not you, you need some financial assistance, which we have a box marked there that if you do need a little help or not. Um, so yeah, so just sort of to talk about a little bit of the application deadline, it is coming up on May 20th. Um, and you should know around May 31st whether you have been accepted into um, the program or not. 
Um, and I also encourage you to please take a look at our website, which I also put the links in the chat. Um, as, as our pages for the workshop one and two are very, very detail oriented. So we break down everything that you may need. And again, if you have more questions after that, like don't hesitate to reach out to us. Um, but yeah, our application deadline again is the 20th. What we'll need to submit for that application is the first 10 pages of your manuscript on one page synopsis, a complete page count, your workshop goals, and a short bio. So it's not too much homework, just a small little bit so that we know um, a little bit more about you. Does yep. anyone and you know, if you've taken time? other classes, it highlights that makes a difference to me. Um, if you've been working, you know, if you have feedback, um, from an agent or from, from a rejection, or that those are things that we would like you to bring to the party so that we can take a look at all of those things and help you make decisions for your novel. And again, novel can be a graphic novel, can be a novella, can be a verse novel. It can be... And, I, and it can be a hybrid. <laughs> I mean, it is... An, I mean, it really is. We are readers. We all love, we all love middle grade and YA literature and chapter books. And we are anxious to read a variety of things. So it's really exciting to see all these new forms coming to us, especially, you know, I mean, it just is. I'm so excited with where our industry is headed. We, we are expanding in so many different ways. And as readers and faculty members, um, that is that is that is reflected by who is coming to whole novel. Um, Judith actually has a great pretty, question. Yeah. So you are you are going to read ten pages of everyone from your um, brain trust group, and so that the way the brain trust works is that after you get your one-on-one -on -one feedback and you've had, the way we do it is you get your feedback about 10 days before the event, before the retreat. And then you have a Zoom one-on-one -on -one with your faculty reader. So you come not just with clothes and shoes and snacks, although you don't really need snacks, <laughs> food is great. Um, you come with your feedback already marinating in your, in your brain. And so then when you come to campus, you come with a running start. And, um, and then there's a brain trust. And what brain, how brain trust works is that it's a workshop like no other. You, as the writer, will ask your brain trust the questions that you have about the feedback, about, about where you're headed, about anything you're concerned or excited about. And then they will help you brainstorm based on what they've read in the 10 pages. They are not going to say, well, I like this or I like that. You don't have that responsibility. Your responsibility is to listen to the writer who's being workshopped that day and to help them make the connections that, that they need to make to make that to, to move forward with their draft. I'm also going to drop into the chat um, Rob Costello, who is one of our peer, uh, excuse me, our brain trust facilitators. He uh, did a podcast uh, with us, uh, I think last year or the year before. And so he goes much more in depth as he's one of the facilitators for that. So I just dropped that into the chat and that um, if you want to take a listen and it's much more in depth. We at the whole novel do not believe in the gag rule. So we don't believe that you should sit quietly while people are talking about your work. You are the writer. And what we want you to do is ask the questions that you have so that the workshop time can be substantive, informative, and exciting. And not just about, oh, you need to do this, you need to do that. We've all had bad critiquing experiences. Um, this is a great critiquing experience because it is not critiquing. It's brainstorming. Mm -hmm. It is community. It is intuition. It is people coming together to talk about your story and the questions you have. Yeah. To echo Sarah, it's, it's vulnerability. It's support. It is just a place where, honestly, I think it erases 
all of the bad critiquing experiences we've had. I know I've certainly had bad ones. So um, from what I've seen um, of the whole novel, it just, it's just, yeah. it's the complete opposite of that. It, it is. I mean, I, I, I love it. I, I love being the reader and love these conversations and love watching all of the writers figure things out about their stories that they can do and that they want to do. And we spend our time, our downtime, um, really hashing stuff out. And um, it, it's so motivating. Um, every year I come with a draft so that when I'm listening to the lectures, I'm inspired. I know where I'm going next. It's really fun. And, um, and, and yes, vulnerable. But we don't get anywhere in this career without being vulnerable. We don't get anywhere without taking chances, without showing our work to people and to asking those hard questions. So at this event, you are going to have the opportunity to be vulnerable in the absolute safest space possible. Everyone is, you know, we really want everyone to succeed. My mantra is that there is room for everyone in this industry and that we need all of these stories. We want all of these stories. And we as faculty are going to help shepherd and help you create the story that you want to write. So basically, I'm facilitating this conversation, but I cannot wait to finish my YA so I can come to the whole novel as a student because I'm just really wanting to be there. <laughs> All of us. I mean, it's really fun to be with a bunch of writers who are all actively writing and all excited about what they're working on and are all drawing comparisons. Like I've been thinking already about what I want to talk about at the whole novel. And like I like this time of year, I can't wait. I'm like, come on, bring on those novels. Like it is it is so much fun and so exciting to see where imaginations are going and where where people where people are it's we take i have taken people who have really just a rough draft i have taken people who have written their novels many 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 times um, who have put their novels away in a drawer and are coming back and saying, hey, I really, I can't stop thinking about this novel, but I don't know what to do with it. Those are all great questions and great places to be in for this event. And just come, come with an open mind, with an open heart, with a lot of pencils. Um, and, um, and we will, as a group, all help everybody take the steps forward.